For Women's History Month, I wanted to amplify the voices of the many incredible women in jazz I have the great fortune of knowing. So I asked them all to finish this sentence. Being a woman in jazz is... Wonderful. Rewarding. Breaking barriers. Being an individual. Honor. Sublime. Freedom. Hard work. Complex. Challenging. Fun. Heritage. Legacy. And blessing. Tradition. Tradition is life-giving. Being authentically, unapologetically myself on stage and off stage. Showing young women that there is a place for them on the bandstand. To take the lessons that we've learned from the women who have come before us, who have set the stage for who we are today. Being able to share the music of my family and my ancestors with the world. Carrying the codes of wisdom from my ancestors, from my predecessors in jazz. Finding your own sound based on your own life experience. To be able to show my strengths and sharing my backgrounds with bandmates. To make music of our own creation and to not care what other people think. A form of social justice and it's always a reflection of what's happening in today's world is to be one who is forever young because this art form is so vast, the vocabulary is so full, so beautiful, it's life-giving. Are you sure you play that instrument? Yes, I do play that instrument that you see me carrying, lugging around the city on public transportation. I am not just a roadie carrying it for someone else that you uh, most likely assume is male. Um, I, I don't sing, just sing with the band. I am the band leader. Having someone assume after a gig that one of the guys in my band is the band leader when I'm the one who's been music directing, interfacing with the audience, and generally in charge of everything the entire time. If you choose to have a family and get married, that you're somehow not as serious about the music as others who don't. Challenging, especially when you're a mom, but I wouldn't have it any other way. It's journalists asking questions about style and fashion and makeup and beauty, things that are wonderful, but also have very little to do with the music and also would never be asked to a male counterpart. I wasn't afforded the same safe and judgment-free place that my male colleagues had in order to grow and learn. To be a woman in jazz means to be a nurturer of creativity, a cultivator of artistry, a supporter of musicianship, and a supreme uniter of a global art form and culture. Being a woman in jazz has always been advocating for the musicians who perform and write the music. Being able to amplify women's voices is a highlight of mine, and it's something I'm really proud of. Being a woman in jazz has been the crux of my existence. Promoting women musicians globally is my mission. Being a woman in jazz is complex, fun, and rewarding. An incredible opportunity to play the music that I love with people that I love passing on a very important tradition. That moment where the music clicks and you and the other musicians are one and it's like touching God. Creating music in the moment that makes an audience so engaged that it changes the way they feel inside and the electricity in the room. Something that is continuously rewarding is the fact that I am privileged enough to perform this music, Black American music, for people all over the world. Playing with female musicians has been always very fun for me because I don't have to worry about or thinking about what to wear or what to talk, small things, but just to play music. Being a woman in jazz is part of my cultural heritage. I was born to speak this language no matter what instrument I would choose to play. Being part of a lineage of strong, independent thinkers and creators. The history of jazz 
and women in jazz links us all together and there's so much inspiration there. We're all part of this legacy of freedom, of improvisation, of really telling our truth. The wonderful and important responsibility nurturing young women as they're on their journey to become professional jazz musicians. We have to extend the lessons that we've learned for those who come after us. Following in the footsteps and continuing the hard work of those women that came before us. Continuing the legacy of the countless women that have came before me and also creating and demanding room and space for the many young women musicians that will come after me and are here. Well, I hope that one day we're in a more equitable place. Being a woman in jazz ultimately is something that I hope changes to just being jazz artists in the near future.